Hi, welcome back to Northern Planet. Today we're going to go through uh, two of my favorite buck knives. So we're going to go through the Skinner and we're going to go through the Compadre. It's the red powder coat edition. So we'll start off first with the Skinner. Uh, this is a phenomenal skinning knife. Uh, everything about this knife I like when it comes to skinning and that's about all it's good for. Um, but this one here is made of a, a 1030 for uh, stainless steel if I'm not mistaken uh, this one is about eight and eight just over eight inches it's a um, fixed blade design uh, tip is narrow but uh, it's about 4.3 ounces and um, if you're if you're looking for a knife that just fits nicely into your hand this whole series of buck knives I have another one that's the hunting knife I can't remember what it was called uh, unfortunately I ruined it we tried to put some serrations on it so I'd have a little bit of both but um, this Skinner is a fantastic knife it's easy to clean up and that's the part with knives that I think a lot of people overlook is how hard it is to clean it up there's nothing that's gonna get uh, blood down into anywhere that you can't clean it's uh, it's easy to use uh, fits really really nice in your hand and when you're doing some of the skinning uh, just has a really good motion for getting you know as you're peeling back the skin and you need to go if you can't and one of the things that you know I found useful when you're skinning it's good to do it when the animal is still warm and if you can pull back and not have to use the knife as much that's great uh, but there is time uh, when you do need to use a good skinning knife there's this one there's also another one that I like that's the old timer it's not included in this review um, but I think it's definitely worthy of mentioning that if you're looking for a good skinny knife that's not going to cost you an arm and a leg, I would look at this Buck Skinner. Um, what else can I say about this knife? The sheath. So the sheath on this one is really, really good sheath. I like to wipe them down before you put them back in the sheath just to keep them nice and clean, but uh, you've got the you know, nice buck impression. It's a very, very sturdy sheath. That's one of the things I love about the buck knives is they, they have nice simple sheaths and it's the pattern that I copy when I do my own knives and I do my own sheaths. So um, this one's pretty simple. You've just got a, um, a snap to hold it in place and then the profile of the handle is what keeps it from sliding out. So the buck skinner, my recommendation if you're looking for a good uh, good quality and relatively inexpensive uh, skinning knife. This one here will probably end up costing you. I bought mine a while ago, um, but I bet you it cost you, you know, 80 to 80 to 90 bucks um, Canadian. So if you're looking for a knife, I would recommend the Buck Skinner. Uh, it's a 103 Skinner knife by Buck. The other one that I'm going to look at today is actually my favorite. Um, sort of all-purpose hunting knife. This is the the um, Compadre. I'm looking at the red powder coat. I saw this in a truck store, honestly, and I love it. It's got a really, really nice walnut handle. I put a little bit of oil on it just to give it a bit of a shine because I didn't want it soaking up blood or anything else that would miscolor the handle before I started using it. Um, I just love the powder coat. It's very durable. I've used this knife quite a bit. I've already had to sharpen it a few times, but the powder coat stays on there really well. It's not going to chip off or break off, which you, you know, could be a risk with other knives. Um, but I do like the textured um, um, texture here for your thumb. It's it, it's like I've said in some of my other reviews. It really comes down to how the knife fits in your hand. So you've got good thick steel here. Uh, I believe this one is made of a. Um, I can't remember the steel, I'll have to look it up. Um, but the thickness is about 0.15 inches. Uh, the profile is is got a nice drop point. It's, it's a very good all-purpose knife. Um, but something about the red, like when I pull this out, a lot of people make comments, one of the first comments they make, they just love the look of the red powder point. Overall length of the knife is about four and a half inches. Uh, it's a full tang, as you can see, and um, there is a place here for a lanyard, although I wouldn't bother with it. I think that the sheath does a great job. It's, it's, an, it's a nice profile, so it's easy to get it back in. I like this a little better because with the Skinner, you've got both of those straps to pull apart for the knife to slide easily in, whereas this one just goes and slides in nice and easy. Um, so good quality snap, good quality webbing here. Um, pretty simple attaches to your belt. I feel like this could be a failure point, but 
Um, you know, when I pull on it, it's, it's not that bad. They've got a good job of stitching in here. Um, this one is made in the USA as well, and the handle's made of um, just a nice leather. So this is the one that would be my go-to knife. It'll cost you about a hundred and about 120, 100, 120 to about 135 bucks. Um, but that powder coating just makes it look, it sets it apart from everything else in my collection. So I highly recommend the Compadre. It is designed for just sort of an all purpose full tang. Um, and um, if you like the reviews, we'll keep them coming. Uh, so we've done the Gerber, we've done the uh, CRKT, we've done Buck. There's a few other things. I might get into some knife sharpening here in a bit. Um, and I'm not going to get into trying to compete with some of these other guys who are artists. I'm looking for more of the pragmatic person who wants to be able to do this, but it's not their passion. They just want to keep their knife sharp. So we can get into some of the tools that we use for how to sharpen a knife uh, in later channels. So, um, sorry, in later videos. So if you like the channel, please subscribe and we'll keep them coming. Thanks.